What made you got attracted to making the film? Well, I knew about the story um, and, and grew up um, knowing of Cesar Chavez and the movement as part of a California history, but also part of American history. And I just assumed that everybody else knew who Cesar Chavez was and what his contributions were. And it was shocking to me how few people actually know who Cesar oh, wow. Chavez is. And that the, and that the, there'd never been a movie made about the movement, not a feature film. And so, um, so I was so thrilled that the story was being told. And also I was thrilled that it was being told by Diego, who I really admired as a filmmaker. Um, I had seen his film Abel and obviously admired him as a, as an artist and as an actor. And um, so I, there were a lot of very um, attractive things about the project. Right. Well, behind every great man is a great woman. Yeah, and I don't really like that saying. I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather people start saying, beside every great person is another great person. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that works well with yeah. me. OK, good. <laughs> right? But, but we don't know. Uh, we know a little bit about Helen. Yeah, I mean, I had never heard of Helen Chavez. Right. I, so when Diego called to say, you know, I'd love you to play Helen, I thought, who is that? And like, well, what is she going to be doing? Is she going to be standing by, like, supporting her man, you know? And he said no, that this was, you know, he had learned about the amazing contribution she made to the movement and also the real complexity of their relationship and that these they were partners and everything. And... And both made great sacrifices, and I would venture to say Helen, even more so, made enormous sacrifices so that w the change they affected could be done. Right. How did you research for the part? Well, for Helen, it was a lot more of talking to the family, talking to th those who were around at the time, and then also I got to meet with her. Um, wow. There wasn't, there's not as much on Helen, you know, written in text and history books. Um, so the creation of her character was a much more personal research journey. Well, it's it's interesting that you know I mean we all can learn social activism 101 from watching the film. I mean it's true <laughs> grassroots effort to the core. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean way before social media and mm -hmm. internet. Mm -hmm. Right. Now what 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 struck you the most about his his contribution to society? Well, I think what is so powerful about his message is not, you know, he wasn't this Superman who came to save these people. He came to show the farm workers how they themselves, as uneducated, as illiterate, as poor, as disenfranchised as they were, that their situation was never going to change until they assumed the power that they had. And that that's how the change was made. Instead of someone in a in a elected role or someone with money or someone with power didn't drop in and, and save them. They right. had to save themselves. And to me, that is such an important message and so relevant to today. Exactly. I was just going to say that what you said is really, truly relevant today, whatever cause you're thinking. Yeah. And I also loved that the film depicted the, um, that, that Caesar didn't, it, this wasn't about Mexican farm workers. It was about social justice, the teaming up with the Filipino workers. And that at the, this was happening at the same time that the civil rights movement was. And Martin Luther King um, considered uh, Chavez and his movement, you know, that they were brothers in the same fight. And, you know, Bobby Kennedy's um, role and, the, and all the housewives who stopped buying grapes. You know, this wasn't about... Uh, you know, Mexicans for Mexicans. This was about people for people. Right. Oh, well said. Yeah. Thank you so much, <laughs> okay. Mr. Mayor. Thank Congrats you. Congrats and good luck again.